guys you guys embarrass me in front of company you guys in here embarrassing me in front of company for real is that what we doing <laughs> in front of company bro god damn what are y'all even talking about over here y'all for real just talking if you don't want to hear anything about choosing to be plant-based leave okay just leave i'm not here to convince you i don't give a fuck i truly don't i do it i'm not bro people bringing up oh there were so many dumb things you guys said super saiyan moses just give everything you said so i can correct you bro holy shit i don't have a problem with big i'm not i don't care if you have a problem with them or not i'm just saying your points aren't you're not making any good points you saying there's no herbivores in existence what are you talking about what are you actually talking about there's no herbivores that exist and then you bring up animals that out of desperation might eat meat okay the point is most humans most not all most are not in a desperate situation fight or flight mode where they like you, you basically if you don't require it said herbivores will eat meat yeah if they're desperate but my point is they don't eat it out of like necessity like they don't need it there's no amino acid there's nothing and i've done all the research i've i've, I've been i've personally been plant-based for seven years all right and i'm not i've never tried to push it on anyone i never will but if i see somebody making bad points that make no sense then i'm gonna i'm gonna say something about it there are vegan bodybuilders, like huge. There are vegan football players. Like, like I'm just saying you don't require it. And all, the only reason I am, okay? One, I had a health scare, okay? And uh, it's been scientifically proven that it will, you know, you're basically, you can become damn near heart attack proof if you have a plant-based diet because it opens your blood flow. Uh, it prevents your uh, arteries from clogging. There's no cholesterol. Obviously, there's unhealthy plant-based foods too, but well, let me rephrase that. There's unhealthy vegan foods that I try to avoid most of the time, but there's plant-based foods that's, you know, good. Anyway, because um, you can be an unhealthy vegan. There's unhealthy vegans out there, okay? So don't get it twisted. Just because someone's vegan doesn't make them fucking healthy. But all my point is, if you know that you can survive without hurting an animal, like, a, like, like nobody looks at animals like they do dogs and cats like you're raised you're in this environment where they teach you oh dogs are so nice and yeah oh my god if the dog gets hurt in a movie oh it's so sad as i eat this burger from this fucking innocent cow that literally just behaves like a dog like I, if you've ever actually met a cow like a little like they act like little dogs you know what i mean and again if you don't care about any of this i'm not trying to convince you leave i don't care i don't give a fuck but i'm telling you where i come from so you can understand my perspective where i come from and then and then that's it and then also if if the big three this is the big three that i always tell people you can be healthier oh but i heard that blah 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 blah, blah. okay i'm not here to argue with you i know the facts i'm not gonna argue it right now we can talk about that another day you can be healthier okay boom all right check that's one of the big three you don't have to fucking hurt animals because like why would you want to do that animals are fucking dope we're animals to a degree i mean I, you know what i mean we're super intelligent but uh, the same way I don't like to hurt a dog or I, I don't like to see a dog getting hurt in a movie is the same way that I don't like to hurt other animals, okay? Oh my God, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Oh my God, he's, he's a psycho, he's a psycho. How dare he? How dare he not wanna hurt animals? Ah! Okay, but if you do, or, and it's not that you want to, but maybe you just aren't educated on the fact that there is another way. Okay, fair enough, again. I don't have time to go into the details right now. All right, so that's two of the big three. And then environmentally, the methane that the overpopulated uh, cows produce, because look look how much land resources it requires to just manage cows, all right? And they're like, oh, but I got grass range. Well, grass range or free range, whatever the fuck, actually takes up more space. Like there's so much deforestation uh, that's caused, like look it up all the deforestation, like they tear down all these trees to create plots of land for all these cows to roam around. And then they're overpopulated. So it creates a bunch of methane that goes into the, to the fucking uh, 
atmosphere and uh it actually has more of a detrimental effect on global warming than all of our transportation so cars uh trains airplanes combined that's how many there are there's more cows on earth than there are humans you know what i'm saying like so once once you have all of the knowledge once you have all like it just doesn't make sense to not you know what i mean but if you don't care or if you would just rather ah oh, but i like chicken okay i'm i don't care do it do it i'm not here to convince you but when i hear people talking about all this random shit and not know what they're talking about then i gotta say something all right anyway that is why i am and i choose to be because it just it for me it just makes sense it just makes sense okay and if it doesn't make sense for you cool cool anyway calling me a dumbass is why because you keep you state so many things as fact you state all like you you state all these things as if like you just know exactly what you're like just be an open book instead of just stating facts say oh i wonder about this oh but i've heard this but you're stating everything as like oh this is just true you haven't i've done my research you know what i mean anyway we don't have to call anyone a dumbass maybe i was wiling out a little bit but i was focused on fighters and i was trying to talk to you guys at the same time or i was just like seeing it in the corner of my eye but nevertheless i still love you guys i just understand where i'm coming from all right understand where i'm coming from and before anyone's like but where do you get your protein you can get literally protein is an amino acid that animals like the biggest animals on earth the strongest animals on earth what is strength protein protein provides strength right the strongest animals on earth are herbivores naturally like an elephant a fucking rhino a fucking hippo a gorilla like these are the strongest animals on earth and they eat barely like nothing but plants and are, are they worried about protein oh but we're different yeah we are different if you compare our um digestive tract it's like 12 feet long compared to a carnivore digestive tract which is like very short you want to know why that is because our digestive tract is more similar more akin to the animals that primarily just eat plants look at our teeth if you were in the wild everyone always brings up like in the wild would you would you kill an animal would you eat an animal bro do you realize in the wild if i have knowledge of which plants i can eat i'm gonna have a much easier time then somebody like like think about it like this the only way you can eat the meat is by cooking it no other animal has to do that name the other car name the other carnivore out there that has to cook the meat in order to be able to digest it otherwise they get sick motherfuckers act like oh my god did, did you know 90 percent of the population or 80 70 70 to 90 some high percentage is actually technically lactose intolerant motherfucker you ain't lactose intolerant you're just not a baby cow why are you drinking bro no what we are the only species that drinks titty milk from another species it doesn't make sense it's just normalized to a degree that it just like feels so normal it's just like like you go to the store you get your two, two gallons of milk the reason why humans started eating meat and drinking this shit in the first place is because ten thousand years ago during the ice age there was no fucking plants there was you had to just rely on eating these animals but guess what over the thousands and thousands and thousands of years it just never went away people continued eating it wondered why hmm i wonder why i get the shits when i drink this fucking fluid from a different animal that was designed to create a two-ton cow I wonder why that gives me hormones and gives me acne and gives me pus and my skin isn't good. Bro, you're not supposed to be drinking that. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, I love you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna upload this if that's cool with you. I, I guess, but but then I'm, there's gonna be those paragraphs of comments. I'm just not gonna look at the video. You can, you can upload it, do whatever the fuck. I'm not gonna look at it because there's just gonna be those paragraphs of people who like have a whole soliloquy of explaining in their own way why they're wrong, but think they're right. You know what I mean? But again, I'm not here to push it on anybody. These are the facts. Do with them what you will. If you don't give a fuck, I'm not gonna be like, oh, how dare you not give a fuck, grr. I'm not gonna be one of those people who's out, you know, protesting, who's getting butt naked and I'm not PETA. PETA's super fucking annoying. Don't get me wrong. Don't attribute me with PETA, like Pete, PETA. They're so annoying. Like they might have the right idea in mind, but their way of going about it is not getting through to anyone. They're so fucking annoying. 
like they need a new head honcho except if i was the head honcho i would change the name because nobody respects them they're fucking annoying god damn all right bit of a rant still love you guys but i just again all this was isn't me pushing this on you this is me explaining where i'm coming from because nobody seems to understand i'm sure i'm gonna have to explain this again someday uh but yeah protein is an amino acid that is found in in plants and the only reason why the animals that you eat have protein is because they're the middleman and they ate the protein and you're just getting the nutrients they have that's why there's a b12 quote unquote deficiency in vegans because the animals in their animal feed are given b12 so you get they're the middleman like B12 was normally found in like river water, but people don't drink out of that. We all have like purified water in the same way that purified water can take out the bad stuff. It also takes out some of the good stuff like B12. So because our water is, that has nothing to do with being vegan. It doesn't. Before anyone brings up, did you know that soy is really bad for the environment? Did you know that the majority of soy in the world that is produced is given to the animals that you are Anyway, uh, I know a lot, man. I know a lot when it comes to this stuff because I did the research. I was on both sides. I wasn't always this way. I ate meat my whole life, pause. And then uh, did enough research and I wouldn't go back ever. Now gun to your head if you're on an abandoned island and the only thing between you and death is to eat this thing, then yes, with a tear in my eye, if I have no choice, sure man is that is that what you're looking for well guess what we don't live in that environment okay we don't we don't it comes up sure oh ah you got me ah oh my god ah ah my morals ah wow ah shut up <laughs> all right anyway for real love you guys uh do you miss chicken no i do not maybe for like a week after i went uh bro your taste buds literally change that's what people don't realize your taste buds literally change uh never craved it also there are plant-based alternatives for that so i'm good <sighs> soy has been statistically proven to be bad for you in the long run there's science for and against that i'm not i'm not saying you're crazy so non-organic soy can be very bad because it has a very high level of uh what is it glyphosate which is basically the chemical that's in roundup because they put a bunch of pesticides on the in the growth process of the soy but if you get it organic then it has no pesticides so it's better for you and there's also blue zones what a blue zone is it's areas in the world where people have the longest lifespan so they're living to like be 100 and uh i believe it's okinawa japan uh is a blue zone and they eat a lot of soy like they eat tofu um so there's science on both sides i'm not saying you're wrong but that's something that i would need to educate myself more about <clears throat> okay anyway um jokes aside i do appreciate you guys uh thank you guys thank you guys for hanging out with me thank you for hearing me out we can have an intellectual conversation sorry if i get a little active a little loud but again it's because i was on both sides so like it's almost like me talking to young me, like young me was saying everything you guys are saying. I'll see you later. Farewell. Goodbye.